Alright, this is about 10 minutes after the end of the last video. I've just burned to come up the temperature and shut itself off. So I thought I'd open her up and give you an idea of what the burner head looks like. And that's still got the oil running over it, the oil feed's still doing its thing. Um, the electrodes are hooked to an 8 kVA um, transformer, which was way from point to point showed in the video before. Um, I don't know if you can see up there, but there's white on the side of the tube there. Um, because I haven't got to have a look at the bolt mounts around there, I've only got the one bolt in this one here at the moment because um, I'm opening and closing it a bit because it's I'm just playing with it and setting it up. Um, hence why the fire is angling across the tube and, and only hitting one side of the tube. With all four, with all three bolts in and set right, um, it fires down the centre of the tube and doesn't actually touch anything. Um, so, but yeah, it does its thing and and got the ball from uh, Homebrew Power in England. Got them to send it out. It wasn't too badly priced. Um, I think it. Don't remember what it cost, but I think it was like hundred dollars New Zealand, um, including shipping and all of that, which is pretty good when you buying stuff with our ruble at the moment. Um, I'll take you down and show you the, the back end's just the return end. The hose just feeds back into it. Here's my wee headery tank. Um, you fill that, I just fill that up with water, I don't bother trying to um, you know, give it space to expand in that because it blows any excess out my nice pressure relief valve, aka the um, radiator cap. That blows off at about 13 pound, um, but once you've actually got the boilers found its own water level, it doesn't move, doesn't come off. Um, you don't open them while it's running. Very uncool things happen there, and apparently pajamas are not hot waterproof. So someone found out and then complained loudly about it, and I didn't help by laughing at her. Um, there's the temperature sensor which turns the whole system on and off. I've got the whole system unplugged at the moment so it's not going to light up on me and start frying the um, fence on the veranda or anything stupid. Um, that's just a normally closed temperature sensor. Um, it runs up to 90 degrees and then opens the circuit which shuts everything down. The temperature drops to 85 degrees and it um, kicks the, it closes the circuit again and the system kicks into gear and off we go. Um, I'm going to try and get a video here shortly of it lighting up um, and getting itself running. Um, but yeah, sort of, that's me, my burner system and Babington, Babington burner. And that's what can keep me warm this winter. We had a, we had a frost last night, it was probably down to about minus two degrees. And when I woke up this morning, the house was at 22 degrees inside, so yeah.